Right, Matt here with Luke and the Sun Power again today. He's going to be testing it in the woods. And this is where I found that, what I think is a medieval dagger you see on the last video. I ain't posted yet, but it'll be posted by the time this one gets out anyway. Um, here we go. He's running, he's running everything, same as me, 80% sensitivity. So off he goes. Just to show you. On to the next for the old one. Yeah, it's not. Wow, he's found his first musket ball. Well, chuffed. Nice little lead shot there from a hand musket. Lovely. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I just found this. Uh, I haven't got a clue what it is. And you know me, I'm not for one for cleaning stuff up in the wood. I just don't want to get home. But it does feel like it's... Um, I don't know. Anyway, it'll be on the screen now, whatever it is, because um, I can't really tell out here. Rang up at 92. Luke's got something over there, so I'm going to make my way over to him and see what he's got. Strange things you find in the woods, perhaps, Carl. Attached to a very long piece of metal, which now I've got to carry around with me. You are, you found some it! Yeah! Well, I'm about to find out. It's deep. You know what deep means, don't you? It's got to be something heavy. That's what it means. Isn't it, people? Oh, what is this? Ooh. So I'm very big. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera, and it's on very unstable ground. Oh God, how deep this is! Oh, I found it, but I don't know what it is. It's quite deep. I'll tell you what, I'll get back to you when I find out what it is, yeah? I saw that. It was a horseshoe from. Oh, I feel how wet that is. It dried up immediately. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Just a horseshoe. Even got one of the names in it still. Right then, on to the next. Yeah, well, you don't expect to find one of them in the woods, do you? No, you don't. Not this deep. Jesus. 
All right, on to the next. Now, this is bronze. I know there's other pieces before, and I don't know whether it's a part of a bronze pot or some kind of shrapnel. I don't know. Somebody knows, let me know, will you? Because uh, keep following them. Nice bronze pieces. Right, fill the hole in. On to the next. I'm out with Luke, obviously, we tested the Sun Power out. Now, the Sun Power, it's a brilliant machine, but it's dead flimsy. We're in the woods, and obviously, all the bracken and that I'm searching through in my garret, it's going through no problem. But it's a bit flimsy on beach combing, field combing, fantastic. All the controls there, all the functionalities there. It's just that it needs to be a bit more sturdier for like woodland. Apart from that, it's got a fantastic review. Now, it's just found this. Now, you know, that is definitely raw. Look at the state of it, but it just looks the shape of a half, a, well, a part of a. You know, a broadsword or something. That's that's maybe how. Not a broad sword. Maybe, yeah. Well, it's three parts, isn't it? And that's the middle bit, tapered down, tapered up. That's where it joins. So it would be about that long. Yeah, I'm I'm going with that. I, lo I love finding bits like that. Well, I actually found a um, shotty. Shotty shell. Uh, what else you got there? It's got oh, it's got an eye bolt. Ah, that's that kind of the old because it's so thin. <laughs> What else uh, we got? Yeah, it looks like a modern Phillips head. Uh, oh, yeah. Bolt, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So he's just, it's still picking stuff up regardless. Yeah. It's doing well. However, I am figuring out the. Uh, I'm figuring out tin cans on the sun power. I know now on a slow hover are around 40 to 50. And I can guarantee that as well now. Yeah, well, I guarantee on mine, 50 is gold. And usually it's gold ring pulls or gold cans, but definitely gold rings are on 50. Oh, is that a ring pull? What did that pull up on yours? Let's just have a little investigation, give it a... What's the signal? What are we getting? 1718. 1718 on the old ring pulls. See, Mama picked up as 50 on a gold ring yeah. pull. But um, when we get back and we do the wrap up, I'll get a gold ring and I'll test a gold ring out yeah. on the sun power and we'll see what that is. Right, on to the next hole. We just found a signal. Screen. Now, when I get a repeatable signal like this on the sun power, we're getting 31, 39, 40. Oh, when I get it, on the old Garrett. That's it, probably, yeah. 72 repeatable. So it was 72. I say that's a coin, but we're going right. to find out live right now. There you go, then. You hold that. I'll do the honours. Do you want the my new, uh, Oh, yes. No, no, no. Right then. Now we we'll use this. The new uh, shortened. Uh, there, yeah. Yep, yeah, there. Now, I've added a light to this setup. I know it's not the best situation because the Acaso is really poor quality when it comes to low light situation. But for £170, you can't moan on a broad daylight out on the fields. Fantastic. Just in the woods, you need a bit more light. You know, what can I say for £170? You can't moan. What we got yeah, here? Yeah, like some form of container. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's got a old uh, mustard. Mustard jar or no, I don't bit, know oh, a honey know. jar. That's what it looks like. Honey yeah. jar. Definitely that. Yeah, well, so I look what's, what, 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 it, what it is. Do you want to have a little clean off of that just water? Yes. That's a squirt, Mr. Squirty. See what we got here then. It's a quite a strange one, isn't it? To find a jar yeah. buried like that in the woods full of some kind of white liquid. It's quite intriguing, actually. No labels. Oh, no that's... I don't know. That's a creep. Oh, God, you really want to take that off? Like, washing the lid and seeing if there's any description on the lid. Like, please don't open this. It's anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're getting some oh, in there. Vas oh, Vaseline. <laughs> oh, my God. That is an old one. That is no old one. All right, okay. Keep, keep, keep 
Well, I was. Yeah, do you know what? When I get a bit of a chaffinch, <laughs> do a bit of Vaseline, and if you come to your local woods, you're sure to okay, find a jar. Right, that, should do. that is an old one. They don't make it in glass jars no more. Vaseline's all in plastic. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, it was relatively deep. Yes, yeah, yeah, that is, I'd say 1940s, just in Bob. But when we get home, I'll, oh, when I do, as it goes, the bottom, when do I the, do the wrap up, I'll, I'll, I'll investigate the years they changed and uh, when they went over from glass, so I can properly date. But let's say Vaseline turns into a yellowy type gold liquid after about, I'd say, 80 years, around 1940s, I'm saying on that. We will find out, we'll have the information. Oh, on London, something London. London. Ooh. <laughs> After finding that what I think is a medieval sword, or at least a Victorian prostitute's protection boot dagger, I feel this is the hilt or the top piece of um, a sword. The implantation there and how heavy it is and it's wrought. So, I don't know, you know, after seeing that, I'm thinking that maybe some of these things with these indentations might be the tops to, to old... Um, Swords. I mean, that looks like the same height the sword will go through it. I'll tell you what, I'll go investigate when I get home, clean it up, and see if I can find out. Richard's found this. Because what? Right, up the light. Go have a chance now. Yeah, well, it's getting dark now when we're in the woods. Which we said we'd make our way back after we walked. <laughs> uh, we're all the way back. It, we, we've left the same amount of time, but it's getting dark. I don't think we're going to make it. But anyway, that's another thing. We'll research it beyond the screen right now. But it's another one of Luke's finds. And obviously, with the, what I think is the top of the sword hilt, I don't know. You know, with the impressions, it sits on top like, like that wood for dagger. Who knows? I'm going to have a look, you research that. Top to your dagger. Might be. Right, still holding. On to the next. Make way back to the car, eh? Right, let's pull that out there. It's brass. Lovely signal. As you are now, it's getting dark. We'll try to get back to the car, but it's very difficult when it's for UV detector. Anyway, see you on the next, hopefully. Right, it's just got this. It's just a bit, right, it's just a bit of a. Um, oh, yeah. But I think it's a key. It's just that badly corroded. An old one, probably from the 1920s, 1930s or something. It's definitely, I think, a key. Um, there you go, mate. Nice one, mate. It's, just it's, it, it, it's definitely a three-punch or six Yeah, I, I, I reckon. See by the pattern. I, I reckon from the one I found the other day. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. What have we got here? That looks really strange, Luke. That looks really strange. If you found a silver coin, I am literally going to lose faith. You're going to buy some, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, Garrett's pretty yeah. amazing. It's got to be said. Right. So I Rub it on my yeah, trousers, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the magic yeah. trousers. Oh. oh. It definitely is a Queen. I don't know. Is it Queen Victoria? What is that? It's got like a checkered gate on it or something. Yeah, that like the one P would have. Yeah. Yeah. But it's but ten it's, times thicker and it's, it's Yeah, but it's <gasps> the edges. Oh the edges is yeah. Yeah. It's so it's oh round. my god, is this that queen? Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, I'll switch off, come back on with an idea in a second. Oh, that's quite an old one, isn't it? What's it? Get a bit of a blue. I'll tell you what, we're still mm. on the way back to the car. We'll okay. clean that up and it'll be on the well, screen uh, right now. Are we actually going to be going back to the oh, car? I'm hoping so. We're heading that way, okay. but we're running out of okay. daylight now. We've got to keep yeah. the torches on constantly. Right, uh, there, you go. there we go. On the way back to the car, take seven. <laughs>